Hey everybody, welcome to today's bodyweight hit workout. So as you can see, all you need for today's workout is a workout mat, and we're gonna use our bodyweight for resistance. We're gonna do 10 moves, one minute on each move, with a little bit of rest in between, and then we're gonna do a four minute finisher all together. The entire workout's gonna take about 20 minutes, and you can do it alongside me. The key is just change up the rest periods. You don't have to do it exactly as I'm doing it. You can take a break in between, and we'll jump between the moves, and we can work it for all levels. So we'll get started with the first move. So, we're going to start with resistance mountain climbers, our bodyweight resistance mountain climbers. We're going to do 60 seconds on this first move, and then we're going to transition to the next one after it. So, start in position, push up position, and we're going 60 seconds, bringing your knees up towards your chest. So, you can do it alongside me. I'm keeping the rest period here in front of me on my watch. We're going 60 seconds all the way through. If you need to take a break at any stage, just drop to your knees and take a breather. So, Trying to keep my pace, good position, keeping your core tight, bringing your knees up towards your body. 60 seconds, that's it, keep it going. 30 seconds down. If you need to take a break at any stage, just drop to your knees, catch your breath for a couple of seconds, and then back into it again. This is about going as hard as you can go and making it as difficult as you can so that we can get our heart rate up and get into our fat burning zone and get a good hit workout in. 15 seconds, keep it going. I'll count it down from 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and take a breather, catch your breath. Okay, we're going to stay in the same position for the next move. We're going to go reset our stopwatch, and we're going across our body, opposite knee to opposite elbow for 60 seconds. 3, 2, 1, push up position, opposite knee to opposite elbow. That's it, keeping your core tight, coming across, slow and controlled. You can speed it up if you want, but I'm gonna keep it slow and controlled. Keep all that tension on your core. If you need to take a break at any stage, just drop to your knees and then come back up again. Remember, it's about finding your difficulty level. So if you can keep to my pace, keep to my pace. If you wanna go a little bit faster, you can go a little bit faster. If you need to take breaks, just take breaks as you need to. Keep it going, 25 seconds left. Whew. That's it, good job, 20 seconds. Keep it going, opposite knee to opposite elbow. If you need to take a breather, take a breather. If you can stick with me, stick with me. I'll count it down from 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and take a breather, catch your breath. If you've got some water, grab some water. We're gonna go into our next move, which is in that similar position. We're gonna go spider push-ups. So, for those of you with a strong upper body, you're gonna go down and try and do a push-up and go same knee to same elbow. If you can't do a push-up, or you've got a slightly weaker upper body, you're just gonna come wide and go same knee to same elbow. We're going 60 seconds on this one. Three, two, one, and back in. So if you're able to do a push-up, you can come down, Push up position, coming straight down, knees to elbows. If you're struggling, drop down to your knees, or if you can't drop into a push up, just come high knee to elbow. I actually might go high knee to elbow. I was being a little bit optimistic with spider push ups. That's it, 30 seconds. Take a breather as you need to, catch your breath, and then back in. If you wanna drop in between, or you want to alternate between the two, you can alternate between the two as well. Whew. Whew. Drop to your knees as you need to. Good job, 15 seconds. Knees to elbows, or coming down into a spider push-up. We'll count it down from 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, take a breather. Oh, catch your breath. Grab some water if you have it. Okay. We're gonna go standing position for the next move. So we're gonna go air squats. Give your upper body and your core a bit of a break. We're gonna drop down into air squats for 60 seconds. Three, two, one, and drop into air squats. Keeping the weight through your heels, through the outside of your foot, shoulders back, core tight, and you're dropping into squats for 60 seconds. Give it a little bit of a break. Even though your core is engaged, it's not working as hard as those moves. Give your upper body a break and dropping in. 
keep your form, hands where they're comfortable. Some of you will find putting them out in front. Some of you will like it over your chest. I like alternating between the two. Find whatever works best for you. 30 seconds. Good job. Weight through your heels, outside of your foot. You should be able to wiggle your toes at the bottom. You should be able to wiggle your toes at the top. That's it, good job. 15 seconds. I count it down when we get to 10. Shoulders back, core engaged. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Check out your legs. Four moves down. Six to go. Doing great, everyone. Mm. Grab some water. Okay, we're gonna stay in the squat position, but now we're gonna go wide squat. We're gonna come narrow. We're gonna go wide and alternate between the two. Three, two, one. Narrow squat, step out, wide, and we're going to alternate in between the two. Again, keeping the weight through your heels, through the outside of your foot, alternate between wide and narrow. Shoulders back, core engaged all the way through, and you're stepping out and stepping in. You should be feeling a good burn in your legs now. Shake them out as you need to, going wide, and narrow. Well done everyone, 30 seconds. Good job. Don't worry if you're feeling that burn in your legs. I'm feeling it as well, keep it going. All the way through. 20 seconds on this. Keep going, we'll count it down from 10. Going narrow, going wide, back to narrow, back to wide. 10 seconds, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Whew. And shake out your legs. Okay, next move, we're going back to the ground. You can move your mat out of the way if you want. If you're on the carpet or on your mat and you've got grip, keep it, I'm gonna move it for the next one. We're going wide to narrow in a push-up position. So your legs starting narrow, then you're gonna go wide, back to narrow, back to wide. So feet together, feet apart, 60 seconds. Three, two, one. Feet together, push-up position. Wide and back to narrow. So keeping the wide to narrow moves, that's it. Core engaged. And again, if you have to take a break, just drop to your knees, catch a breather, and then go again. Remember, it's about making it as difficult as you can for yourself. You can go the same speed as me, you can go faster, you can go slower, you can take more breaks, you can take less breaks, find what works best for you. Drop to your knees, take a breather, big breath, and then up again. That's it, wide to narrow. Working all through your core, and you're probably gonna feel a little bit in your legs as well, just after those last two moves. 15 seconds, I'll count us down from 10. Keep it going. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, take a breather. Oh, catch your breath. So if you're breaking a sweat now, don't worry. I'm the exact same. We got three moves left. Three core base moves. Then we're gonna take a two or three minute rest, catch our breath, and then we're gonna do a four minute finisher all together, and then we're done. So next move, grab your mat. And we're gonna go into a plank position. So normal plank, but you're gonna reach out with your left hand, then you're gonna reach out with your right hand, and we're gonna alternate between the two for 60 seconds. Three, two, one, plank position. Reach out with your left hand, reach out with your right hand, and we're alternating. That's it, good job. If for whatever reason you can't switch, or your core is too fatigued, just hold the plank position. You can hold that for 60 seconds. That's it, keep it going. Don't worry if you're sweating, don't worry if your heart rate's high, that's the way it's supposed to be. Keep it going. 30 seconds. Whew. Well done, everyone. Take a breather as you need to. Catch your breath and then back up again. 20 seconds. I'll count us down when we get to 10. Left hand, right hand. 15 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one. Oh, and take a breather. Two to go, two moves to go. Well done, everyone. Oh, catch your water, take a breather. Catch your breath. Oh, we're gonna go into the last two moves. Last two moves. Oh, side plank. So, we're going side position, and we're gonna go up, and we're gonna hold for 60 seconds, right side, then 60 seconds, left side. All right, three, two, one, and up. And hold that position if you can. Some of you will find this move is really difficult if you're not used to doing it. So as you need to, do 10 seconds on, five seconds off for the minute. That's a good way to build up on these. Whew. Holding that isometric hold, holding through your core. Hand where it's comfortable, I like it up above. Makes it a little bit harder. You can also put it down by the side. And again, break it up, take a breather on your obliques as you need to, and then back up again. Well done, second last move. Keep it going, we got this side, and then the next side I'm gonna take a breather. And then we got to finish it all together. Whew. Take a breather as you need to, 20 seconds. That's it, keep it going, I'll count us down from 10. We're coming into the last 10 seconds on this side. Keep it going, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Oh, catch your breath. Last move, last one. Switching sides. So if you did the right side, now you're doing the left. If you did the left side, now you're doing the right. Oh, it's hot today. Okay, three, two, one, and up on that side. That's it. I'm trying to get my watch and stop watch, we're going. Good job, okay, last one. Last one, everyone. We're gonna take a two minute rest after this. Catch your breath, and then we're gonna do a finisher all together. Finishers on your legs, so you can fatigue your core now, it's fine. The last bit's gonna be on your legs. So keep it going. Well done. And again, drop down as you need to. Oh, and then back up. Take a breather as you need to. 30 seconds. As I said, if you need to break it up and do 10 seconds on, five seconds off, you can do that. It's a difficult move. And hold it up. 20 seconds. Keep it going. Oh, I'm not even getting the 10 seconds now. Three, two, back up. 15 seconds to go. I'll count it down when we get to 10. Keep it going. Nearly at 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, and take a breather. Okay, two minute rest. Catch your breath. Well done, everyone. That's all 10 moves. Intensity, 10 minutes, a little bit over 10 minutes with the rest periods in between. Getting your heart rate up. I'm gonna try and reset this. I've got too much sweat on my watch. There we go. Okay, nearly there. We're gonna take 90 seconds, catch your breath, and then we're gonna go into the finisher. We've got four more minutes, and then we're done. Full workout done in less than 20 minutes. Heart rate elevated, sweat dripping, all about the intensity, going at your level. As difficult as you can make it. That's the beauty of these workouts. If you're super ultra fit, just means you'll take less rest and do more reps. If you're a beginner, just means you'll take a little bit more longer or take a little bit longer rest periods and you'll break it up. It works for all levels. All right, the finisher. We're gonna be doing it in a minute. We're going with air squats. So one of the moves we've already done, air squats. We're gonna do 20 seconds of air squats. And for the advanced people, on the 20 seconds, on to after 20 seconds, we're gonna hold for 10 seconds and then we're gonna go back and do 20 seconds of air squats. We're gonna do that eight times for a total of four minutes. So 20 seconds on, 10 second hold. 20 seconds on, 10 second hold. Eight times for four minutes. If you're at the beginning of your journey, beginner or intermediate, you can take a break on the 10 seconds, whatever works best for you. So just follow my lead. Four minutes, air squats, 20 seconds on, 10 second hold, 20 seconds air squats, 10 second hold. Three, two, one, and go in. 20 seconds. Air squats for 20 seconds, and then we're gonna hold the bottom of the squat for 10 seconds, or you're gonna take a break, depending on your level. That's it, keep it going. Good job, air squats. Remember, shoulders back, core tight, weight through your heels. Three, two, one, and hold. Hold in that squat position. Hold in the squat position, 10 seconds. Burn through the legs, shoulders back, core tight, weight through your heels. Three, two, one, back in. 
That's it, air squats. Shake out your legs as you need to. You're gonna to start to feel that burn now. Keep it going, it's the last bit. We're done after this. That's it, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one, and hold, squat. Hold or take a break. 10 seconds, oh that burn. Keep it going, five, four, three, two, one, oh. I'm back at air squats, one minute down. Three minutes to go. Shake out your legs as you need to. You'll see the talking dropping off in a second because I'm feeling this. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, shake it out. Okay, 20 seconds. Oh, nearly halfway there. Oh, okay, I'm gonna take a 10 second rest on the next one. I can't hold the hold or the squat hold. Oh, shake them out, 10 seconds. And then I'm gonna take a breather. You can do the squat hold if you want. I'm gonna take a breather on the next one. Three, two, one, 10 seconds. Take a breather or hold the squat. Two minutes to go. Nearly there, three, two, one. That's it, back in for squats. Oh. Oh. Good job, keep it going. Nearly there. Oh. Shake out your legs as you need to. We need a towel for these workouts. Oh. Oh. Keep it going, five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Take a breather. In the squat hold, or take a 10 second rest. Oh. That's it, three, two, one, back in. Oh. Oh. That's it, keep going. Nearly there. Oh, oh. Take, shake out your legs as you need to. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, take a breather. Oh. One minute to go. I'm gonna try and hold the squat for the last two. One minute to go. Three, two, one. Back in, last minute. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Nearly there. Oh, keep it going. Don't worry about the burn in your legs, that'll go soon. You're on the home stretch. Oh. Oh. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Shake them out. Last 30 seconds. Finish it strong. Ten seconds, keep going. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, oh, that's it. Oh. Oh, take a breather. Good job. Well done. Okay, it's the full workout. Well done, everyone. The finish was a killer. Oh, 10 moves, minute on each. High intensity workout. Perfect for any time of the day. First thing in the morning, afternoon slump, or in the evening if you just need to get your heart rate up. Works great. Remember, quality over quantity with your workouts. Changing body composition. Building lean muscle, losing body fat, losing weight. These are the workouts that are gonna work great for that. So that's everything from today. Well done. Be sure to hit the subscribe on YouTube and check out the other hit videos on there. I'll catch you all real soon.